Hi, sixth grade. Um, I wanted to start off by just doing a quick review of what we did last week. So last week we worked on our shape drawing, which is where we only draw the basic shapes of an object. And we do that to make sure that our drawings end up proportional. It helps us place things in the right spot for all of our work. And then we started to add in our contours, which are the basic outlines and major angles of an object. And so we went through some of our skills towards the end of the week. Now this week, we're going to start with some value drawing today on Monday. And then tomorrow on Tuesday, um, we are going to try to have a class at 10 a.m. So Tuesday at 10 and you should have received a Zoom invitation. So we'll talk about that a little bit soon. But um, for today, let's see what the value work is going to look like. All right, so let's think about this for a little bit. We have a drawing here. It's of a room. It's actually the room I'm in. You can see there's a little bit of clutter through the space. Um, you know, this is one of the nice things about our work here is that we can draw from what we see. And I'm going to go ahead and add in some of my contour lines, but at the same time, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to add in value. So when I look over in this area here, I actually have a dark space, and I'm going to go ahead and bring it out a little bit. And notice I'm going to let some of it get a little bit lighter. Now, in that corner in particular, um, it's not a perfect smooth area so like the bottom part is a little bit darker here and this kind of extends and I have a little bit of a shadow through this side too so it kicks back a little bit now above it I have a pile of clothes um, so I'm looking at a little bit of a, an area where we're storing some stuff um, just kind of like everybody's areas um, but this is like our little extra closet corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to match some of the shadows that I see around that space. And so let's um, go ahead and add some value there. Now it's gonna be a little bit lighter as I'm pushing it through um, because it isn't sunk back. And I do have a little shelf in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to match that as well. Um, but I'm getting there. I got a little bit of uh, the wrinkles on these piles. I'm going to start getting them in, which I got to say, you're pretty good at based on uh, those crumpled paper drawings from the challenge last week. That was pretty incredible. So, um, go ahead and fill this space a bit. Hopefully I'm not interrupting the sight line too much with my hand. And I'm going to bring this part of the shelf over. So there's a shelf inside of this closet. I'm going to bring this down a bit. And as I look at it, I notice that this part of the shelf is a little bit darker. So I'm going to try to match that. Now, whenever I draw with value, I don't have to go from dark to light. And I know a couple of you um, are still thinking that I need to just go from dark to light like I do on a value scale, but you don't. So when we use value, just like when we use notes in a song, it's really about putting it together in a lot of different ways in order to make something beautiful, right? So it doesn't have to be, um, you know, a good song isn't A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A good song jumps around quite a bit. And when we look at things in real life, a lot of times those those shadows don't hit it in a very smooth way. And so we're going to try to try to catch those jumps if we can. We're going to catch those differences and put them into our drawing space. So you see I'm starting to get um, some of these other piles in here. Um, so usually the space is not that um, disorganized. But right now we're moving some things around because we are um, just trying to make space so that I can some videos for you guys um, things like that so um, but you can kind of see here I'm starting to set up this little corner here and on top of this there's another 
little pile that I haven't quite included yet, but there it's going to go. And then this part also, like the first one, is a little bit um, dark. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten that line up a bit. I'm going to push this back because it's really this dark spot that pushes one area back. And then the light spot a lot of times brings it forward. Uh, we call that push and pull. And we can push back the space and pull some of the space forward as well. So I'm underneath another shelf and guess what? The underside of this shelf is very dark because, well, nothing's hitting it. No light is touching it. So I have to try to make this area a little bit more in shadow than some of the others. And then there's like a brace supporting it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to capture some of that. This is going to kick down. This comes around. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more um, little shadow to that area too, just to make sure that I'm capturing that it goes back into that space. All right. So I'm starting to pull it together. Um, got a little cabinet here. I'm going to go ahead and add my contours. Um, but now that the cabinet is starting to take shape here, I'm going to go ahead and put these little bits in. A little bit of molding on the side, um, which basically just means that it's got an angle. I'm going to cross this back, bring this down, and guess what? Behind this shelf is a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to do our same practice here. This one's a little bit softer than my other one, so I'm going to go ahead and just bring it back this way. And then inside of my uh, cabinet. I also have a little bit of an edge here, so I'm going to push that in and I'm going to draw the inlay. A little bit of a space inside of the side of it. This one's a little bit thicker and the whole thing is also a little bit darker than everything else. So I'm getting there with this cabinet now. Um, cabinet has a door which I'm going to go ahead and set up here, and a hinge, which I'm going to push in through the side, and then another one up here, and I can go ahead and extend that line through here. Now, on my cabinet, one whole side is a little bit darker than everything else, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a really light layer of shadow to the whole side, because there's a light over here. It's hidden a little bit on the side, so the short side is a little bit brighter. And then the inside of the cabinet here has got kind of a little bit of glass. So it's basically a bookshelf. And inside of it, um, you can see I'm going to have my next shelf, and my books are going to be inside here with this part being the darkest part of all. So you see how I'm going to push the dark part and it's going to send this little area back in the space. Now, I didn't add the shadow on this outside part of the wood, so I'm going to do that as well. And fill that in a bit. And my books, I'm going to just kick down here, and here, and here. And they're going to be dark. They're not going to be as dark as the back of the cabinet. Um, but they're not going to be as light as the outside either. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and give them a little bit of an edge here. So we can see that the whole thing is maybe deeper on the inside. So I'm going to keep adding some details. I'm going to maybe kick this out a little bit. Um, and then behind the cabinet is actually a rolled up. carpet. So that's going to be in here. And it's curving this way. So I'm going to go ahead and put some lines here because the carpet has a pattern that makes it look a little curved. And then I'm going to let my, my value kind of turn with the carpet bit. Because if I turn my pencil and I turn my pencil marks and I have a couple little pattern lines, 
my viewer is going to see this as more of a rounded shape. And so you can start to see, and I'm going to capture like the patterns of the carpet. I'm going to be a little bit rougher to make those marks. Um, and I'm starting to get there. And then this part behind the cabinet is actually fairly dark. Um, there's a corner in the room back here. And I'm going to go ahead and just make this really dark so it pushes through. And it's going to also, remember the push and pull? It's going to push back this area in this corner. And it's going to help bring the carpet I was talking to you guys just about a second ago forward a little bit. So I'm going to add some more softer patterns. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow here, um, pushing this back. And we're starting to set up the space. Now, I've been at this for about 10 minutes now, right? And my ask of you today is that you give yourself about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and set up a little bit of a drawing of a space that you are occupying. Now, we talked about this, um, I think last, well, yeah, actually last week. And one of the things that we can do here is be really smart about just seeing things that are in our spaces. So the more we see, or the more we look, the more we see. And so I'm very interested in you slowing down and looking really closely at stuff that's in your space. Um, you get to see it really close. And a lot of times, if you're having an experience like I am right now, I'm seeing new things um, in things that have been in my life for a long time because I have to pay a little bit more attention. And paying attention is a great skill, um, but it's definitely a skill. It's something that we learn to do over time and it's something that we learn to get better at through practice. And so I want you to think about your work as not so much about making a perfect drawing, but about trying to experiment with using value and about trying to see some things with a little bit more clarity than maybe you saw before. So um, starting to shape up a little bit looking like a room, got a couple smudges um, from my hand. So now I know how the left-handed people feel, uh, but that's what I really want to see from you today. And then tomorrow we'll see each other on a Zoom meeting. I hope you can make it. Uh, we're gonna do some transformation drawings, uh, have a little bit of fun with that. And if you didn't get an invitation, uh, send me an email and we'll get you all squared away. So I hope everything's going well and that um, your drawing continues to improve. Uh, you did a great job last week and I think we're gonna, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing some new things in the week ahead.